I've been going since 9.30 this morning. I'm hot. I'm tired. I got a food haul video. Boy, did I do good. I'm going to go through it piece at a time and tell you what all I got and what I paid for it. And uh, what I'm not showing you is I got 24 macaroni and cheeses, generic, uh, 39 cents a piece. So that's five bucks, give or take. I got a 10 pound bag of chicken. Everybody knows what they look like. That's $3.90. I got two top ramen noodles, six packs, dollar and a quarter each. Uh, what else did I get? I got uh, three dozen regular mouth jars. I wanted the wide mouth, but they wasn't on sale. They were $9.99. I got three dozen. I got me some fly bait because the flies are about to carry me off out here. I got went over there in the feed store and got that. I'm going to sprinkle some outside and I'm going to try to put some on my windowsill here in this front window because that's where they all congregate. Uh, those are pretty much the dry products. Uh, $7 for my prescriptions for the month. Now, Save a Lot Food Hall coming at you plain and simple. I've got pork riblets. Uh, $1.49 a pound, regular $1.58, I paid a dollar for it. Throw that over there. Another riblet, paid a dollar for it. Back in the box. Uh, riblets, a dollar. Uh, Pork spare ribs, good rack for a redneck, $1.50, regular $3.14, that's a good deal. Uh, what do we got here? Stew meat, born, raised, harvested in the United States, $5.99 a pound, regular $5.03, I got it for two bucks. Ground beef, I'm going to probably say 67% uh, lean or whatever. But it's $4, regular $279, $748. I got it for 4 bucks. Uh, another hamburger, $4. $7.90. Marked down almost half price. Uh, another riblets for a dollar. Pork spare ribs, two twenty nine a pound, two fifty six total. I got it for a dollar. A mild barbecue sauce, but I will take care of that. I wasn't paying two seventy nine a pound for barbecue. Top round steak, boneless, three dollars a pound, five forty seven total. I paid three bucks for it. See if I can get that right in on there where you can see what I'm talking about. It ain't bad. Uh, the due date is September 4th, which is two days from now. If you want to go that route. Here is a... Uh, I think it's pork, pork butt roast, sirloin roast, $1.59 a pound, $6.58. I got it for $3. Uh, sauerkraut, anybody? Bonus uh, spare ribs, $2.29 a pound, $4.35 total, $2.00. Riblets for a dollar. We're still going through this stuff, guys. I hope you like what I'm doing. I hope you're proud of me because I am tickle pink. God has blessed me. Riblets, $1.49, $1.65 total. Got it for a dollar. Pork spare ribs, $2.29 a pound, $3.73 total. Got it for two bucks. 
Let's see. All right, that's all the pork. Let's go to beef. Boneless chuck, three ninety nine a pound, six seventy four total. I got it for four bucks. A good looking steak. That's going on the barbie. Boneless chuck steak, three forty nine, four fifty total. I got it for two dollars and fifty cents. The meat lady puts these. Phone call, Carolyn Hills calling me. I'll hop. Okay, I'm back. Uh, got a few more things. Uh, of course, I had to fill Cheryl in. She's my go to girl. Um, I got another top round boneless, two ninety nine a pound, five forty seven. I got it for three dollars. Right there. Let's see what else we got here. These are uh, mock tender steaks. It could be beef. I think it's pork. Three ninety nine a pound. Five oh three. I got it for three dollars. Man, those bad boys they are pretty. Now, those are my breakfast steaks. They're going to be nice. I got uh, bone uh, spare ribs. Two twenty nine a pound, three seventy five total. Got it for two bucks. Expiration date. <laughs> it don't even have one on it. <coughs> Boneless chuck steak, three forty nine a pound, four seventy eight total. I got it for two fifty. That's two, probably three meals. If I make me a big old thing of stew, that's going in it. And uh, what we got? The mock tenderloins again, four bucks a pound, six uh, and a quarter. I got it for four bucks. That's not bad. The grand total that I spent today is forty-two dollars and fifty cents. Cheryl said, "Well, what would it cost you if you went back?" And bought it all. So this is the third time I've been through this meat. But if I paid full price, it was eighty dollars, eighty-seven dollars and seventeen cents, and I got it for forty-two fifty. That's less than half price. Uh, along with my chicken for sixty-nine cents for the hind quarters, I got enough meat that uh, gonna last me a while. I. Uh, I can either eat like a king for a month or eat like a, a peasant for two months. And that's what I plan on doing. I've got about $10 left in my food budget. I am going to buy me some uh, potatoes. I think they're 10 pounds for $3. I'd like to buy 10 pounds of potatoes. I've got my macaroni and cheese. I've got my lemon juice for my tomatoes that I'm going to can up. I've got... Uh, these yellow ones here that I'm going to can up and uh, let's see there was something else I was needing I forgot what it was but I've done real good I'm tired I've still got to put all this meat in the fr uh, fridge or let it thaw out I may have a canning party tonight I don't know uh, I had a request on uh, my YouTube comments that a lady wanted to know how I can up the uh, uh, Western style ribs. Well, darling, I that sale starts tomorrow at $1.38 a pound. But because I made out like a bandit at uh, Save a Lot over here, I'm gonna do canon videos on. Or I'm gonna do a canon video on the uh, pork and beef that I got. The uh, pork, at my altitude, it will be 10 pounds pressure for 90 minutes in quart jars. The uh, ground beef, I've got two of them. I may uh, brown up one, and I drain off all the grease and uh, completely cook it. And then I pressure at my altitude, 10 pounds pressure for 90 minutes 
and uh, I may buy me some beef broth. There's two ways to do it. You can dry can it once it's cooked and then dry can it, and uh, that comes out pretty good. Or you can mix uh, up some beef bouillon and pour that in there, uh, inch your head space, wipe it down, put your lid on it, and can that again for 90 minutes, and you, you know, you could, uh, it's, it's not a solid chunk then, but you could take that, you could put it in your stews or whatever. I think I've done pretty good this month on the food hall. Uh, all I can say is thank God for the lady that hooked me up. Uh, it's nothing under the table that she does. The, all this food that she give me, uh, Instead of putting it out and selling it a piece here, a piece there, whatever, and uh, worrying about it going on the expiration date, you know, like those that one big uh, chuck steak there, it only had two days left to expire. Now, at that point in time, they can't sell it. They can't mark it. It's already marked down two days prior. So she sold it to me instead of taking a loss on it and uh, have it throw it away. There's nothing wrong with the meat. It's set on, I mean, I think they got like a five-day shelf uh, turnaround on their products. If they don't sell in the meat department for five days, they, uh, the last two days of the a week, which, you know, they get a truck each week, then they mark it down, and then that's where I come into the picture, and I can do real good with that. And, uh, I think I've done very good this month. I know this is a long video, but it was well worth it. Uh, I got the meat. I got a 10-pound bag of chicken hindquarters. I got top ramen. I got 24 uh, macaronis, three cases of jars, some fly bait to make sure the flies don't carry me off. I mean, it's just summertime, and they're here for some reason. I don't and uh, got something else. I uh, got a care package I'm going to send to a buddy of mine. And uh, that was $15. He's a good guy. He takes good care of me. But uh, that's my food haul video for the month. I hope you like it. If, remember, if I can do it, anybody can. Oh, I'll tell you a deal that I didn't get today. It was a 18-quart. Uh, no, 17 yeah, 17 or 18 quart Presto canner. Uh, brand new. The guy had a yard sale on the side of the road. He wanted uh, 40 bucks for it, 30 bucks for it, and I didn't go back and get it because I just didn't have the money. I wished I did. Uh, somebody snagged it real quick, but that's okay. But man, it was shiny and pretty, but uh, Paula Allen. Uh, on YouTube, she gave me my 23 quart pressure canner, and I've dang near wore that thing out. It's about time for a new seal, and everything. But uh, God bless her. I, I've got more service out of that thing in the past uh, three years that I've had it, and it's still going strong. So thank you, Paula. Thank all you for guys for watching my video. God bless. If I can do it, anybody can. I'm out of here.